Yo, how you doing? I hope you're alright and I hope things have been good. Look, if you're around my age, which a lot of my audience is, not everyone, but a lot of my audiences are in their teens, getting up to 20, there is something that you need to know and you might already know it. If you've been watching videos like this and you actually clicked on this video, you've probably been watching other self-improvement videos, so you know that there is something known as your purpose. I'm about to tell you something which is quite important to so stick to the end of the video, and what I'm about to tell you could literally help you take that giant leap closer to actually finding your purpose. Literally right after this video. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. So our purpose, it's also known as something else. Our core desire. So our purpose is our core desire. And our core desire is something that we all want. It's something that we're all searching for. Not, I don't even know what my core desire is. We all want this because if you manage to actually find out what your core desire is, you end up living life right. You end up feeling like you're living life correctly, that you're living life right, that you're fulfilling that core desire and you're living life to the fullest. This is something that we all want and all of us associate it with our, that, that long-term goals, those dreams down the line where you have that dream house, the dream wife, that family that you want. Maybe it's a family, that girl of your dreams with like two kids in the middle of like the, like the woods. You got acres of land to your, to your name. You've made that wealth, you're financially free. You have time freedom, location freedom. For me, that's that's what I would want. That's something that I really want, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want that as well. The problem is, how do we even find our, our core desire? None of us know what our purpose is. You may believe that you do, but we're not at that stage just yet. We're still quite young. We have no idea what our purpose is. We don't know how to find our core desire. And there's a reason why. I want you to ask yourself this question. How many desires have you had throughout your whole life period? You may be only like in your teens, getting up to 20, maybe even younger, or maybe much older. And when you think about how many tiny little desires you've had, oh, I'm on Instagram, you find some cool car. Oh, I really want to work hard to get that car. Or you see like a video game clip. Oh, I kind of want to. I kind of want to play that video game right now. How many desires? Any little thing that you've seen, like, oh, I kind of want to do that now. How many have you had during out your whole life period? Probably millions. Genuinely, you've probably had over a million desires. So when you think about, you have all of these desires, and you're trying to find your core desire, the one right in the middle. That's ridiculously hard. This is why none of us know our core desire. We've got all of these other desires surrounding the core that are distracting us from actually finding our core desire, our purpose. So how do we actually find our core desire? I can teach you how now to stop adding these layers on. To actually finding your core desire, you've got to work through your own desires and actually find that out for yourself. But I can teach you to stop adding more layers right now which will make it a hell of a lot easier to actually finding your purpose and that is stop watching or stop indulging in instant gratification instant gratification is basically where you fulfill something that gives you pleasure a high amount of pleasure now quickly but makes you feel worse and skews your dopamine worse after in the long run that's instant gratification so for example Oh, I, I'm, I feel kind of sad. I'm lonely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the hub now. Or, oh, I want to be with friends, but I, they're all weird. But they don't invite me anymore. So I'm gonna go on video games right now. But then after you feel worse, but it made you feel better now in the, in the short term. Yeah, instant gratification is a downfall. It's a huge downfall. And if you've been watching videos like Self Improvement, you know this already. You need to stop watching instant gratification because it's adding all these extra desires. You scroll on Instagram, you see an attractive model. I'm going to go on the hub now. You see someone playing video games. Oh, I'm going to go play video games. Instant gratification is adding so, so many desires that are covering your core desire, making it impossible to find your purpose. You need to stop indulging in instant gratification and start focusing on delayed gratification. Stuff that takes time and is in the long term, but makes you feel way way better 
in the long term. And this could be as simple as eating healthy, going to the gym, spending more time in nature. Those three things, it's, it's easy to start off with just that. Going to the gym three times a week, spending 30 minutes more time in nature. And instead of going out to buy junk food, just spending a little bit more time to actually cook your own food. If you're not subscribed to me, you probably won't ever find this channel again. But if you are, another video will come up in the corner. You should definitely click on it because this could 100% change your life like this video has. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.